That's all fish. That's all big schools of fish. We'll find out what that is here in a little bit, but that's all just giant schools of fish. That's probably a bigger bass feeding on the smaller fish. So we just launched out of Richland, Oregon to do some crappie fishing. We came out of the channel and ran up river about 15 miles or so. Browley Reservoir. We're gonna use a uh, crappie jig, like so. And what we have here is a swivel. I added a little bit of, le of uh, lead for it to sink a little, a little quicker. The leader's about two and a half feet for the first jig, and then. You got one? Nice. Bring them in. And there's our there's our first crappie here, and we got this one on a uh, on a darker jig. I'm gonna try the lighter one here, and you could really use any any color uh, you'd like. They come in all kinds of colors. The Mister Twister. That's what we like. Um, jig heads, the smaller the better. But you could really use any uh, any color as well. Um, and yeah, you just you just cast it up the cliff. You find what you want to do is you want to find points on the river, and then the fish tend to hang out near those points. Um, you mark them on the fish finder as well. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Here's a couple fish here. There's a couple fish right there. We're standing in about 30 feet of water. Um, and that's that's probably a good, a decent school of fish right there. And what we're doing is we're just casting to, at the point and letting the bait sink, letting the jig sink, and then uh, they'll hit it as it sinks and those tails, uh, those tails twist. So we just got our first one here. A little small, but uh, they'll get bigger. That's a good start. We also want to use the lightest gear possible, so we're going to do four pound for our leader. These are the swivels we're using here. And then we're starting out with the darker ones, and those are working. But yeah, any one of these colors would work. You could experiment with all kinds, I mean, they're all good something to attract the fish so we've uh, been experiencing it for a little bit and uh, found that the uh, jig head that's a little bit bigger I think it's the 130 second ounce works a little bit better because what happens is when the jig sinks this one's got a little more weight to it so it sinks a little bit quicker which makes the tail spin a little bit more aggressively versus the lighter jig and they uh, they tend to hit it a little bit quicker so uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and switch out to a heavier jig head and see what that does no, that's true like a little thing like that will make you know yeah. it'll make your tail spin a little bit quicker and that that's you know that's that's gonna be the difference it gets down to that depth where they're at. It gets the down quicker. Yeah. You feel you feel it better. Oh, this is a big one. That's a bluegill. Oh, 
Oh, bluegill. <laughs> nice. Yeah, a mix keep of it. everything today. K keep the bluegill. Yo, I'm missing all the bites that I'm like putting right here because I think the hook says to like the ones out there. I'm just letting that sink. Those are the ones I'm getting. Yeah. The ones I'm like casting right here. Look at that school of fish. And they're not getting. Look bit. at that school of fish. Wow. wow. Dude, we're on it. That's it. Let's sit here until we finish that school out. That's a nice school. That's a lot of pain for me. Here's a fish. Got it? Yeah. Nice. Oh, this one's tiny. Small again? Yeah. Took the clear. Really small one. Show you that school of fish I'm talking about here. It's a big school of fish right there. Beautiful. So we got two, four, six, eight, big ten. Fish? Whoa! How that crappies. fast, Papa? That's pretty fast, huh? We just started fishing. We already I got ten crappies. I remember we had only crappies. one. Know how big they get? Yeah, pretty big guy here. Yeah. Small, this one's small, smaller side. Also, also clear. Also clear, yeah. So the small ones are probably under here. This guy here's on the smaller side. You got one there, Diego? Yep. Give you an idea. Oh, this a little bit bigger. Look at that guy. Yeah. So. Let's see. So this smaller one here is probably about nine, eight and a half. This guy's eight, eight and a half. What is yours? This guy here. Probably close to nine, ten, eleven, maybe ten and a half. No. Oh, not bad. Not bad. It's a good size. Nice little guys. Nice school fish. Mix of everything. Naomi, you're gonna reel this one. Come here. Okay. Come here. You're gonna reel it really slow though, okay? I set the hook in. Here, here, really slow. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Oh, you got two. Oh. You got two. Nice. Can I grab the net faster? Up, 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 up. up. So Hey, we gotta let her reel them in more often. Two at a time, nice. Oh man. How much do we even have in here for now? They're kind of yeah, small though. I remember uh, five, e previous years they were a lot bigger. Oh yeah, I guess the color doesn't matter because we just got one on orange and uh, and the other one on, uh, on clear. A little bit on the smaller side, but the fish is a fish. Nice and slow, maybe. That might be a double again. That is a double again. Oh man! You gotta keep letting me to reel in the fish. What am I talking about? Let me reel in the fish, okay? Come on, Papa, just reel in the fish. These are bigger ones too. Just let me reel in the fish. I just doubles always. You already saw me have hey, one, one more, and that's a triple double. Yeah, triple double. Look at how beautiful they are. Look at that. Papa, two Shiny. times. Two times I had this. Yeah, good job. Today all these colors seem to be working. I think we've caught a fish on every single color. And then that, these heavy jigs. They're working out very well for us. Did you get one, David? Yep. Orange color? Yeah. Nice. Consistently let it. Mm -hmm. Like a couple chasing it, you know? Yeah, I see, yeah. Yeah, I see. Got him? Yeah. 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 Got Oh yeah. Oh nice. Daddy. Cool. Get it off there. Just grab him by the mouth. 
something like almost like grass. Mm -hmm. Nice. White crock. Good, good ones now. No tail too. Good, good, uh, good school of fish. Look at that. You'll be here all day, you won't catch them all. Nice and cozy out there, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice one. Oh, that feels like a nice one too. Oh, let's net this guy. Get him up. Nice. I think that might be the, the largest one yet so far for the day. Yes, sir. Grab a um, here. I'll, I'll hold on to him. Grab a scale. Grab a scale out of there. Let, let's let's oh, the scale. Yeah. Curious to see what he'd be. Right in there in the glove box. Yeah. I think this is the largest one for the day so far. I got one. Hooked into one as well. Here you got him. Nice. Wanna zero? So go ahead and weigh this guy. Let's see. Ten ounces. White and one on the uh, one on the orange. You know, it would make it a little bit more fun than uh, than catching a double like this. You know what? what? Having them be like pounders, uh -oh. slabs. <laughs> That's good right there. And now put put your pointer finger on the line. Uh huh. Uh, release this here. Uh huh. And then as you cast it in, you release that line. Okay. And hold the rod. That's pretty good. Okay. Now reel it, reel it in slowly. Really, really slow. Yeah. Doubled up, huh? Good. Good. Oh, yeah. spider. Same here. Yeah. We both got the same fish. Do we? <laughs> we both got the same fish. <laughs> or no, no. There's a snag up. Snag mine. Toss yours back. Oh, I got a big one. Look at this. Oh, oh wow. Wow. Nice. Need a net? Yeah, grab a net. Oh, yeah. Grab a net. I think this might be the biggest one for the day so far. Oh, yeah. Whoa. This is the biggest one so far. Dude, right here. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Can we beat this guy? Oh, this is, look at this. Let's go ahead and weigh him. This guy, I don't know. This guy might be like 15 inches, 16 inches. Let's see. Uh, a little over exaggerated, but. 14? 14. Pretty much, yeah. 14 inches. Get that scale right. This is a slab. Zeros? Zeros, yep. Alright. Put that under the gill. Mm. Come on. 
One pound, four 1. ounces. 4. That's a 20, pound, 20 ouncer. Yeah. Let's go. That's a nice slab, huh? Good stuff. Right on. 14 inch and a pound and four ounces. Crappie. Nice. So this guy here is the uh, one pound, four ouncer. This next guy here was, he said it was eight, eight ounces, Dave? Uh, 10, 10 ounces. ounces. Yeah, 10 ounces for this next largest guy here. And then the other ones are obviously smaller. But yeah, that kind of gives you an idea of uh, the size of crappie that are out here. So before you get to beat this guy, that's gonna be the goal. Get something larger than one, one pound, four ounces. Beautiful. Quiet, calm, peaceful, everything you can ask for. Fish are biting. Baby needs to be glass. It's gonna be glass calm. That's gonna be beautiful. The best part about this is there's there's zero boats in sight. That's the best part. Get him? Oh, that's a bluegill. Keep that guy. Keep him? Yeah, keep him. Keep the bluegill. Another one clear. Again. I'm gonna switch out my uh, my orange to clear and maybe start doubling up. schools of fish. The fish just don't have enough food. They don't grow. They stay small. Well, we got what maybe 35 40 of them already nice Those lines are all crappie. 
Because I'm out looking for points. They're looking for structure. Results right here. That's a crappie and a bass. Two? Yeah, maybe we'll, we'll get that. A crappie and a bass. Doubled up. <laughs> Sick. I'm like, I didn't think crappie could jump like that. It was a bass. Oh, beautiful. What a beautiful scene. Smallmouth bass and a crappie. And a crappie. Double duck. So we'll keep the crappie. And it's uh, Mr. Bass's lucky day. He gets to he gets to go back. One more crappie. Watch how fast it goes. Watch. Watch where we'll release him. I guarantee he's in a hurry. I guarantee you. Probably. I guarantee you. Look. See? He was in a hurry. <laughs> He had things to do. <laughs> he probably had to um, go for a birthday party. And this guy will keep. Nice. Some nice jigs you have here. Uh, I was measuring each one. Yeah. What's what are they what are they measuring? So what, about an inch and a half long. Like this. This green is for this one. So. Green right there, and then I have an extra green one to put on here to remind me. And the yellow one is this one, so this one. Nice, nice. Just be careful, those are so little. Or, or, not little, they're way too sharp. So we just came over to a different spot, a different point. We were catching a lot of fish on the uh, on that first spot, but they were all smaller fish, nine, ten inches, eight and a half. So a lot of a lot of the smaller fish. We got one that was uh, was it fourteen inches? The one that was yeah, one, 14, one point 14, one point four ounces. Yeah, and then we got one that was ten ounces. Those are the two so-called trophies um besides that all the fish were kind of small so we came out to a different spot we're marking them here as well i'll show you here on the map on the chart we're marking them we're in about 24 feet of water and it's a it's a ledge so we're casting into like 50 feet um and as you can see the fish are also kind of suspended here so we'll give this place a try see if we can hook into one or two down here maybe it'll be a little bit bigger Beautiful, quiet evening. Oh, Glass okay. calm. Really nice. The wind has died down. It's 
beautiful all around. Pretty much a cooler full of fish. Well, half a cooler, half of it is ice from that first place we were at. Let's see what's down here. That one, Dad? Oh, these are bigger, smaller. Uh, I think that's a bass. Yeah, that looks like a bass. Yeah, it's a bass. Well, first one's always a bass. <laughs> Feeling the captain? No, I felt one, but it was probably. Did you put a lot of salt? Try a piece of this one.